Someone in the Embered group asked how to split a design down the exact center. And I decided to make a short, quick video for that. It's fairly easy. You just have to remember a few things. So the first thing you want to do is you want to bring in a guideline and you want that guideline to, uh, you want this guideline to snap to the exact center. So to get it to snap to the exact vertical center, you want to zoom in. And we can even go into stitches view so you can see that I'll be on the exact center. And I'll just go ahead and, and zoom in up here. And you can see I'm in millimeters. And right now you can see my big block for the grid is, you know, it goes from 0 to 10. But with Embered, you can zoom in all the way to 0 0.1. See, now the block is 0 0.1. And that way you really know that your guide is going to be in the center. So now I lost my guide that I brought in, but that's okay. I'll just bring in another one because it's off, you know, way to the left. So I'll bring in another one and you can see it's snapping to the grid and it just snaps right to zero, zero. And you probably don't even need to zoom in this far, but at any rate, I'll just click one to one, or you can hit this if you have something selected, you know, zoom to selected. So there's your guideline. I'll just grab this one and bring it back. And so once you have your guideline in, and I'll just go back into 3D, uh, you can right click on the guideline. When you see this white plus sign, that means you're on the guide. So just right click and you can select either one of these. Uh, I'll just select stitches below or rightwards. Now since I have a vertical guide, obviously it's going to select the stitches rightwards. So I'll click that with my left mouse and you can see that they're all selected. And then once they're selected, this icon up here will be you know boldened and if you hover over it it says split so you just click that and now they're split so you'll have obviously more jumps and that goes for both objects here object one and object two and since we split it you have to make sure that you have ties where you split it so that it doesn't come unraveled. So select all, either hit Control A or you can do, you know, edit, select, select all. And once they're all selected, you'll right click and you'll go to uh, insert insert tie on off stitches and the default I believe is four but I usually like to use six now remember it's gonna insert extra tie ons and tie offs on top of what's already there if that's okay with you then just go right ahead and click OK now where this may come into play is where the outline stitches are because extra ties on top of outlines can be very noticeable. Extra ties on your fills is not as noticeable. So if you wanted to make sure that your outlines still look good, you might want to just hit cancel here and back up and just see how many ties you have on your outline now and if you already have say six ties on your outlines then you probably want to delete those ties 
first on the outlines and then come back, split your object, and so on. And remember, if you wanted to see more videos and you wanted to get some free videos, you can always become a member at buymeacoffee.com where there's a membership um, link where you can join for just $10 a month and you'll get four free videos every month. And those are videos from my website that are normally like $10 to $20. And remember, if you don't have Embered and you need Embered, you can always go to uh, my website, click on the bird, and you can get 10% off of Embered. And that's any, any part of Embered that's $100 or more. So even if you don't have Studio, which is digitizing tools, you can get that for 10% off by clicking on the bird. And I'll have all the links in the description and as video links that you can click on on the screen here. All right, guys. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.